Hey, what is up my dudes? Hello, I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing okay, and I'm Ariel. Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back. So I hope you're all ready, gather around, come one, come all, get comfortable, get cozy because today we are talking favorites. It's been so long since I did a favorites video. I feel like a favorites video is always nice, always a good check-in, right? I don't know. I was thinking of dropping the favorites video for 2022, but I saw a couple comments and I was like, no, the girls need the favorites. Like, the girls need the favorites. So, you are my favorites. I was gonna say it's March favorites because March just ended, but I don't know when I'm gonna get time to edit this, so I might just title it recent favorites, but this is favorites from like February, January, and then now March because March just ended, but I haven't done favorites in a minute, so it's kind of a mosh posh of all these favorites that I missed. So I have some good ones for you i hope you're ready and yeah let's talk favorites I have my notebook here not my usual notebook but a notebook nonetheless so i usually start with like what i've been up to this month but i feel like it's been a while since i checked in with you guys so i'll say what i've been up to in general which has been studying basically like entirely studying school basically takes up all my free time not even basically school takes up all my free time and then any little free time i have i'll hang out with a friend or watch TV <laughs> or like clean or I have to spend it doing other actual tasks I have to do that are not school related so I really feel like I have no time at all but yeah that's what's been going on that's also why I haven't been posting I feel like I say that in every video I have made since going back to school but yeah I don't want you guys to think I completely forgot about you I think about it all the time and I always wish I could film a video or post something but yeah I just have not had any time but I've also been thinking about I don't know starting a podcast podcast or something because I do have time to film videos here and there but the main thing that takes time is editing them because it takes maybe like six to eight hours to edit a video so like I could film a video for like an hour or so but then to edit it I never have time for so I was thinking maybe I should start a podcast because you don't have to edit it that much so it would be like something or I was also thinking of maybe starting another channel where I just post unedited like hour-long videos just talking showing you guys stuff ranting i don't know very premature idea but just throwing it out there let me know if that's something you would be potentially interested in i will be back to posting regularly edited videos probably by like mid-june because then i'll be completely done with school but i don't know that's just a thought i've had circulating in my mind so let me know if that's something you would be into because that's the videos i really like to watch podcasts that are like super long and it's just like rambling stream of consciousness type stuff or just like videos of people in their car just talking for an hour or something so i feel like since that's what i like to watch maybe you guys would be into that i don't know but yeah let me know just a thought what else have i been doing i did do one i guess semi fun thing not semi fun thing i did one fun like outing thing i went to the tame impala concert at the barclay center that was this month it was march 14th and yeah that was so good it was also the first concert i went to by myself overall it was a super good experience i almost didn't go because i had had no one to go with I had two tickets and then I ended up selling one ticket and then I was like should I just sell both of them since I don't have anyone to go with but I ended up just going by myself and it was actually like one of the best concerts I've been to it was such a good experience and I'm so happy I went I did feel a little guilty because I was like no I need to be studying but no I'm so glad I went it was such a good concert I'm obsessed with Tame Impala even more now than before can't wait to see them live again and it was also the first concert I've been to in probably the past two or three years since COVID. I think before then, the last concert I went to was Igor. Um, I didn't go to Call Me When You Get Lost, because Tyler also went back on tour, but I didn't listen to it that much, honestly, so I did not go to the show, but I love Tame Impala, and I was like, yeah, I definitely need to go to Tame, and I'm so glad I ended up going, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've been up to, just staying in, studying all day, watching TV, listening to music when I can, that's pretty much it, but on the 
the bright side, it gives me a bunch of good recommendations for you guys. So yeah, let's get into it. But first, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is also a new favorite of mine, especially for this month, which is Brevity. So Brevity is a backpack brand. This one is a camera bag. It's called The Runner. The color I have is pine green. I love Brevity because not only is this a camera bag, it has these little detachable compartments that can Velcro on this bottom part and keep all my camera equipment safe, but it doesn't even have to only function as a camera bag. When I'm not carrying my camera equipment, I can just put random stuff in there. I still haven't unpacked it from the last time I used it to stay over at a friend's house, but it fits literally everything. It can fit my two laptops, my notebook, my chargers, a change of clothes, my toiletries, anything I could need for like a solid two or three days. This bag fits it all. You can go to www.brevity.co slash Ariel McKenna or use code ARIELM10 to receive 10% off your first purchase from Brevity. Thank you so much to Brevity for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to it. Okay, moving right along, I guess I'll start on my clothing favorites because I feel like that's what you guys are the most into. I have a couple. Some of them are, I guess, not really so much for the weather we're moving into but more so for like the cooler weather we've had like in January, February, March. I guess it's kind of getting warmer but it really doesn't feel like it. We got a couple warm days and I was like, oh wait, it's spring, it's getting warm. But it's cold again, like literally so cold. But the thing is, I expect it to be warm, so I don't dress appropriately for the cold. But no, it's cold. Anyways, here are some of my favorite clothing pieces. They're not necessarily my favorite in the sense of I think they're so beautiful design-wise, or they're rare, or they're collectible. But they're more so my favorite in like, I wear these at least three or four times a week. So I feel like that is what truly makes a favorite. And starting off, I have my Stussy Sherpa jacket. It's a hooded Sherpa fleecy jacket and it just has the Stussy logo embroidered right here. Has some pockets, has a hood lined inside. I bought it maybe like mid-February or like the end of January but that jacket has become my staple. I throw it on all the time like every time I leave the house if I'm going to the supermarket, if I'm going to the deli, if I'm going to class sometimes. That jacket has just become my go-to. I wear it probably every day and it's just the best thing ever. It keeps me so warm. It's cute. It's fuzzy. I like that it's black and white because it matches with quite literally everything. But honestly, it's not my favorite design like the black and white paisley. There are other Stussy Sherpas that I liked more, but they were from past season, so I wouldn't be able to buy them. But this one was from, I think, Spring Summer 22. It was released semi-recently. I bought it when it released. I'd just been wanting a Stussy Sherpa in general. So then when I saw that one released, I was like, okay, yeah, I'll buy it. It. And it sat in stock for a fairly long time. I think it was in stock for like a month So it wasn't really hard to get but I bought it right when it dropped and I was kind of hesitant to buy it because it was pretty expensive I forget how much I paid for it, but it was like around 200 but honestly based on how much I've worn it and know I'm going to wear it in the future it's So worth it and if I wanted to sell it now I could easily sell it and make back most of what I paid for it So I think it was such a good purchase. I wear it all the time a lot of the time it does not match what I'm wearing but it's just one of those things you know you draw it on and it's the best. I also love the fact that it has a hood because a lot of the other juicy fleeces I was looking at didn't have a hood but I definitely needed the hood and the fact that it has a hood makes me wear it so much more. So yeah I love that. Definitely one of my clothing favorites for the season. Next up is another jacket because I don't know living in the city now I realize how much a jacket holds weight in an outfit and how important it is to have like a really good jacket. So my next Next jacket is my Arcteryx. I think this is the Zeta SL. And I got this model because I wanted something that was like not too expensive, but also had the Gore-Tex, which is what makes like the water bead off. Like see how it just beads off? Yeah. The water beads off of this, which is great. I think retail it was around 300 299 plus tax and shipping. But now the place I got it from since it's the end of season, it's on sale for like 230 So if you were thinking of getting one, now would be a good time to get one. But I'm glad I just paid full price and got it when I did because I have worn it so much. If I'm not wearing that Stussy fleece, I'm wearing this. I don't really carry an umbrella anymore because this covers everything. My head doesn't get wet. My hair doesn't get wet. My face doesn't get wet because it zips basically past my mouth. If it's particularly cold out or if it was snowing, I have a Carhartt fleece I could put underneath or even a thicker hoodie underneath. With this on top, it'll be fine and I'll be warm, which is perfect. And I also like that in case the forecast says it might rain later, I could just throw it in my bag 
bag and it's a lot easier to carry around in my bag than an umbrella it folds up really easily and it's super light it's not heavy at all to wear so you could layer under it and yeah I have a size extra large I'm really glad I got an extra large because if I got anything smaller it would be harder for me to layer underneath it but I was debating whether to get a medium or an extra large because the large was sold out but I'm super happy I ended up getting the extra large I was hesitant to buy into the Arc'teryx hype but this is like actually worth it definitely it does help that it's like a cool stylish jacket somewhat and that I like the design of it but utility wise it is so functional and has just made my life a lot easier especially because it's been so rainy recently and I can definitely wear it into the spring because it's not keeping me super warm but it breaks the wind which is really what causes you to get cold so yeah that reads like an ad literally but nah it's just been such a favorite of mine and has become such a staple like whenever I'm going out between those two jackets I'm covered my next favorite and I'm trying so hard not to hold it over my bed but it's been these North Face Thermo Ball Traction Mules I talked about buying these a while back in my online shop with me video and I finally bought them maybe a month ago and I wish I bought them even before that because since buying them I realized just how much I've been wearing them they're super easy to just slip on and run out and I'm realizing now no matter how much cute stuff I have or like stuff that's a serve or pulling a look like at the end of the day I just reach for stuff that's super functional and practical and easy for me to wear because like on the day-to-day -day, I don't have time to put together a cute outfit or like lace up the cute shoes that I would like to wear or whatever it is I just need something I can grab and go so those have been a lifesaver it helps a lot that they are water resistant somewhat I wouldn't wear them in the snow but I could wear them when it's raining out and my feet won't get wet so that's nice and I wasn't gonna get them because I already have Crocs which I feel like are somewhat the same they're just like a little slip-on shoe you could wear out but in the winter you can't really wear Crocs out especially not in the city when I get back home I feel like my feet are all dirty and stuff so I like that that fully covers your foot it keeps them warm and yeah those have been another favorite also they're a great price I think they're around like 55 60 after tax which to me is a super good price especially for how much I do end up wearing them they're not really comfortable for walking long distances but for what I use them for they're perfect super good purchase and I honestly wish I bought them sooner because they would have made my life so much easier and they have already made my life so much easier for the time I've had them moving on I guess I'll talk about my music favorites next I have a bunch of music favorites because I've been adding different songs to my list since January to include in my next favorites video but now I have so many so I'm gonna just buzz through them and yeah take what you want mushroom abolitionist by vegan or vain no idea how to say their name but really really love that song I just love it number three by Aphex Twin y'all already know I love Aphex Twin Aphex Twin was actually my number two artist on my Spotify rap which is actually not surprising but yeah number three by Aphex Twin and then if you like number three by Aphex Twin I also recommend Hollow Be Thy Squad by Xavier Wolf because that samples number three and I just think it's the best thing ever I love Xavier Wolf and I love Aphex Twin so yeah best song ever next is Serpent Skirt by Cockatoo Twins love that song love the Cockatoo Twins as well I don't know if I'm saying their name right but whatever love 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 that song it feels like a warm summer night 25k jacket $25,000 jacket by Gunna I love Gunna since like 2016 and it's been so nice watching him get increasingly more popular I think the whole new project was so good but 25k jacket was my favorite something about it it's a dog barking sound effect it just activates something in my brain I love it I love that song so much bad news by hook I love hook as well I feel like I'm gonna say that about every artist or every song but yeah I really love hook I think she's so underrated if you like BK the Rula, if you like booty chain if you like black cray I recommend hook if you like baby Sosa I recommend hook I love her music and bad news has been on repeat heavily gospel for a new century by Eve's two more classic classic magic spells by crystal castles so good I'm actually dropping gems for you guys so I really hope you do check them out but that song is so good I really love this entire album but this song specifically is really good two songs that you should listen to after each other psychedelic funk and activist by Chris Travis they're both on the same album and they're in that order but they flow so well together if you listen to them one after the other big fan of it love Chris Travis and then lastly not a song but an EP Baron Libre by Arca so 
so good i've been working my way through arca's what is it called discography all of arca's music and i stumbled across baron libre on youtube and i was so so pleasantly surprised it might be one of my favorite stuff that i've heard from arca it's a short ep there's only like four songs but they're all hits my favorite is bira that's what brought me to finding the whole ep and also little now a lot so good it's super short so it doesn't take long to listen to and i just really recommend it it's been heavily on repeat i listen to it maybe not every day but often very often and yeah that has been my music favorites that was a lot so digest that sit with that those music favorites should definitely hold you over for a while next we have media movies and tv i would say books but i have not been reading because i have to read for school so i'm not trying to pick up a book in my free time like i'm sorry so it's all just movies and tv so fleabag on amazon prime this is the most recent of my media favorites that i've watched i just finished the first season last night and i'm like halfway through the second season i'll probably be done with it by the time this is up but my friend told me about it and i was so pleasantly surprised and now i feel like i've heard people mention the show in passing and i always meant to look into it but i never did but i'm so glad i finally decided to check it out because it's so good i wish there were more episodes and i'm not sure if they're going to make more or not but i should look into that and i really hope that they are i love when there's a protagonist that you kind of hate but you kind of love and kind of like identify with or at least i kind of hate and i kind of love and i kind of identify with i love when the good guy is also kind of the bad guy because true but yeah good show i just like it i just really like it i feel like uk shows hit different and that's a uk show next human resources on netflix so this show it's by the same people who made big mouth it's a spin-off of big mouth but i was never really a big fan of big mouth i maybe watched a couple episodes from the first season but i never really got into it i kind of found it a bit annoying i don't know something about big mouth was just not my cup of tea so i never really watched it but for some reason human resources really strikes my fancy i thought it was so funny i really like adult cartoons like adult animation which is why i was surprised they didn't like big mouth because it's so popular but human resources is the one for me it hits it's so good i watched the whole first season in like two days and i really hope that they make another season because i'm a big big fan next show is 30 rock which is on netflix as well you could stream it on so good okay initially i watched it i just saw it was recommended to me on netflix so i was like mm do I really want to watch this? It looks kind of boring. It's primetime television. I probably won't be into it. But I had literally nothing else to watch. So I watched it and it took me a couple episodes to really get into it. But it pleasantly surprised me. I think Tina Fey is so funny. But I never really watched or saw much of her work. I know that she wrote Mean Girls, which is of course like everyone's favorite movie. And I remember when I was younger seeing her on SNL here and there when I was allowed to watch it or stay up that late to see it. And I always thought she was was funny but i never really saw much of her on screen but i love her i think she's so funny she's probably one of my favorite female comics or comics in general i think she's great something about a show that's kind of like a sitcom vibe just feels so comfortable and like so comforting and i love watching that show in between studying when i'm taking a study break because it's so lighthearted and funny and easy to watch and yeah it's a great show i recommend you watching it i love a good sitcom i do as much as i like to say like no nah, i'm not really into sitcoms i love a good sitcom i'll eat up a good sitcom and then lastly a movie i think this is like the only movie i've watched in the past three months but perfect blue it's an anime movie i don't know if that's the correct terminology but yeah it's anime style and it's in japanese so yeah i watched it with subtitles i've been meaning to watch it for so long but it's kind of like scary so i started watching it by myself maybe a year and a half ago but then i got scared so i turned it off but then and I finally had someone to watch it with so they watched it with me and then I was less scared so I watched it and it was so good it's really not that scary but I can't take the anticipation and the buildup of a scary movie like if I know it's gonna be scary I can't watch it but it was actually so good I mean I knew it was gonna be good it wasn't too scary the story was great did I look up perfect blue explained afterwards yes yes I did and yeah great movie 10 out of 10 highly recommend you watch it even if you're not into anime 
anime type stuff. Originally, it wasn't going to be an anime. It was going to be live action, but they couldn't get the funding to make it a live action movie, so they made it an anime, and I think that it was way, way better that way. It's very beautiful, like the illustration, or animation rather, it was really beautiful. I really liked it. I'll probably watch it again as soon as I forget exactly what happened. And uh, lastly, old reliable, we have food. I usually don't really have many food recommendations because in the past I was living with my parents and I would just eat whatever they had, like whatever was in the kitchen. I didn't go grocery shopping for myself. I didn't cook dinner for myself. So I didn't really have as many food recommendations. But now it's up to me to decide what I'm going to eat every day, every night. So I do have some good food recommendations for you guys. The first one being, this isn't really like a meal, but Outshine pineapple popsicles. Okay, hear me out. I was sick maybe like a month ago. I'm sick again now. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my immune system. And I had COVID maybe three months ago. So I've been sick probably three times in the past three months. When I was sick before, I was like, oh, what would be a good snack that I could eat while I'm sick that will like keep me hydrated, soothe my throat, popsicles. So I tried a bunch of different brands of popsicles at the grocery store near me. And then I finally tried Outshine and I tried the pineapple flavor. It hits different. Something in it, I know what's in it. The fact that it has like chunks of pineapple in it and it's soft, but it's also like a popsicle. I don't know. It hits different. It's so good. If you like popsicles, I recommend it. Even if you don't like pineapple that much, because I don't like pineapple. If there was like cut pineapple slices, I probably wouldn't go crazy for it. Like it's not my favorite, but those popsicles are so good. I don't know, bro. They're just so, so good. Now I'm addicted to them. I go through the box in two days. I spend all my money on these popsicles, like actually, but it's worth it. And I do it again. I now have to have them in my freezer. It's not okay next this is like a meal i've been eating a lot it's the shin ramen you put it on the stove you put a little water and then after it's pretty much boiled put a slice of american cheese on top and then keep a cover on the pot for like a minute more stir it around so good if you eat ramen regularly this is a game changer it's so tasty and actually with american cheese like the crappy craft singles it makes it better you shouldn't use a good cheese like use a crappy craft american cheese it's so good sometimes i'll make a bacon and cut up little pieces of bacon inside so good chef's kiss like one of my favorite meals not even on like a broke college student money saving type vibe but it actually just tastes that good so yeah that has been a big food favorite of mine i eat that like maybe three times a week probably so unhealthy but it's so good and then lastly another easy meal slash snack that i have my friend put me on to this because we ordered chinese food she was like you should just get garlic broccoli like just garlic broccoli and at first i was so skeptical because i have the palate of a little kid like i'm not eating vegetables like that unfortunately i'll eat a carrot here and there like carrots with hummus and stuff but vegetables are not my first choice like i'm not ordering a salad but i was like okay let's just just try it and it was actually so good it was garlic broccoli with white rice so good you put a little soy sauce on the rice you mix it with the garlic sauce so good but the thing is the place i ordered it from the chinese food spot near me was charging 12 dollars for rice and broccoli which is like obscene like i get it but what it's just broccoli i feel like if i got chicken with that it would be the same price but it was so tasty so i was like i'm gonna figure out how to make something similar at home it shouldn't be that hard so now what i do is is I buy Trader Joe's frozen white rice and then the Trader Joe's organic broccoli florets and then the Trader Joe's general so sauce. Am I saying that right? Whatever, I'll put everything on the screen. But you make the broccoli, you put that sauce on it and then you just put a side of white rice just as good. So now that's another go-to meal of mine. And yeah, on that note, that has been pretty much all my favorites. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some good recommendations out of it. Let me know if there's anything that is also your favorite or if you try anything and like it let me know because it's so satisfying to hear that it also is something you enjoy or that you listened to my recommendation and it worked out well so yeah that is about it thank you so much for watching and stopping by i hope to see you soon fingers crossed i'll have another video for you guys soon but until then take it easy stay safe stay well and i'll see you in the next one later